Mark Twain's 1884 novel, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, opens with a set of stage directions. Scene, the Mississippi Valley. Time, 40 to 50 years ago. Twain's great novel returns him to his boyhood by placing the novel's opening scenes between 1834 and 1844. Twain, or Samuel Clemens, was nine years old in 1844. This was a year of much importance to a major literary critic, Leo Marx, who tells us that this was the year in which Nathaniel Hawthorne records his impressions of the little event of a train entering Sleepy Hollow and the origin story of what Marx calls the myth of the machine in the garden. Marx invents this concept in order to explain what he saw as a uniquely American paradox, the presence of both a future directed progressive sense of time that's deeply tied to an enthusiasm for technology and a desire to nostalgically preserve the past through a pastoral vision. Twain's novel returns him to the past moment of the American Renaissance in order to come to grips with his own version of these twin desires for a progressively improved future and a nostalgically rendered past. Nostalgia is an important term in American literary history. It comes to literature and our now current everyday meaning as a longing for the past for medicine. 17th century Swiss doctors coined the term to name an affliction, one that was even thought to be a cause for death, suffered by soldiers traveling far from home. These doctors used the Greek word nostos to suggest that they believed that this disease was a form of homesickness, a hypochondria of the heart. The theorist Svetlana Boim argues that nostalgia is not as much about longing for a place, a lost home, but for a different time, the time, for example, of childhood. In a broader sense, Boim claims, nostalgia is a rebellion against the modern idea of time, the time of history and progress. She notes that 19th century American doctors proudly declared that the young nation remained healthy and didn't succumb to the nostalgic vice until the American Civil War. While Twain's late 19th century Adventures of Huckleberry Finn fits into this general understanding of nostalgia as a response to an over-rapid modernization, mid-century American Renaissance texts also flirt with various forms of nostalgia. Many of the features we associate with post-enlightenment modernity the widespread mechanical reproduction of images and texts, secularization, new ideas of time and progress, and scientific advancements had already begun to produce desires for alternative pasts, presents, and futures. The literary critic Lloyd Pratt has recently argued that we can find nostalgic responses to modernization as early as Washington Irving's 1819 sketch, Rip Van Winkle. Nathaniel Hawthorne's historical romance, The Scarlet Letter, returns him across the gulf of time to 17th century Boston. In his preface, Hawthorne writes of multiple sources of identification that induce what he calls a sort of home feeling with the past. While in her autobiographical travel narrative, Summer on the Lakes, Margaret Fuller writes of her envy for those who could experience the wonder of sublime natural sights like Niagara Falls unmediated by mass-marketed popular pictorial depictions. Those visitors, she writes, who could come unawares upon this view and upon that whose feelings were entirely their own.